So in my last Zbot video, a lot of people keep having a problem, which is if they press the right shift on their keyboard, the Zbot menu doesn't show up. So today I'm going to tell you how to fix this, and yeah, let's get started. So first of all, uh, I read the Zbot documentation, and yeah, I'm going to tell you everything uh, I learned about it. So first of all, you're going to go to this GitHub link. I I'm going to be linking this in the description. And what you're going to do is you're going to download uh, these two DLLs. I'm going to download them. And no, this is not a virus. My I scanned it with my antivirus and it, it, it didn't detect anything. And yeah, let's download this uh, GD uh, loader. And yeah, okay, so let's open the GD directory and just put all of these in the f uh, folder. So yeah, I'm going to put them here. It's going to uh, ask to replace the current, uh, I mean to replace uh, li live curl DLL. So yeah, to replace it. And yeah, uh, I accident it's accidentally uh, renamed like that. So I'm going to rename it. Yep, just like that. And yeah, what once you're done, make a new folder called add a file for DLL, as you guys can see on my screen. And inside that, just put the Zbot video. What add a file for DLL is, uh, you can put. Uh, DLLs in here instead of injecting injecting DLLs. So yeah, uh, you can put texture loader, uh, Zbot, and yeah. Once you are done, um, you might get this error, the common installation errors, just like in here. If a pop up with this with system error one hundred and 26 pops on your screen or the menu isn't loaded make sure you have the 86 bit Microsoft Visual Studio I mean Microsoft Visual C++ redistribute I don't know how to read that name but yeah you're going to go to that link and just download everything yeah you're going to go here and you're going to download the 86 version and yeah you're going to uh, either repair it or f uh, repair it if you have if you already have it installed or just install it if you don't have it and yeah I already have it installed and, and I don't have any problems and yeah if you are on Windows 7 be sure be sure to install the Windows 7 SP1 server service pack to get needed depends uh, depend dependent size for Zbot also try installing Windows 7 version of the uh, the direct X runtime you so you're going to also go to here and download it once you're done extract the extract the file to a folder and run DX setup.exe also try copying and renaming X X input 1 uh, underscore three dot dll to x input one uh, underscore four dot dll this file will be in windows sys which is the system wow <laughs> 64 or here is the directory for six uh, for the 64 bit and uh, 38 bit and 86 bit system respect uh, respectively and yeah that's it for the installation I'm on the I'm on Windows 7 as you guys can see my Windows is looking fantastic but anyways uh, let's launch the game and yeah it should be working now so yeah I'll see you guys in the game
and yeah once we are in just press right shift and yeah you have the problem fixed if you if you still get any errors um, just type in the comments or just DM me on discord uh, yeah DMs is uh, DMs are open as always but yeah you can record any level I'm going to record deadlock just for fun I like this level Finally, <sighs> so yeah, um, I finished practicing it, and yeah, it already went on disable mode. Uh, yeah, f d let's just test it out because it will work. And yeah, there you have it, the Z bot button. I mean, name. But yeah, sorry for the lags. Uh, it's because Z bot makes my game way laggy. Uh, but yeah. As you guys can see, the the game is playing by itself, and yeah, that's be that's basically it, and that's how you fix the Zmod problem thing. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.